I wasn't going to make a video on this game because I honestly just don't care about it. In case you don't know what I'm talking about, it's Star Wars Outlaws. This is supposed to be the big open world Star Wars game that's been teased forever. And I'm just at the point with Star Wars that I really just don't care anymore. Didn't watch Andor. Didn't really watch much of season three of The Mandalorian. I've just kind of given up on it. I just don't care anymore. And I don't think I'm the only one. I don't think I'm the only one. I think a lot of people have just dipped out of Star Wars. I'd really like to see how good that Fallen Order game sells. Not Fall, Fallen Order, uh, was it Jedi Survivor or whatever the new one was? I played a little bit of that. And it was okay, but I just didn't get into it that much. And then Zelda came out. I'm just losing... Let me correct it. I've lost my interest in this franchise. Disney has ran it into the ground. So this trailer came out. I watched it. There was some goofy stuff in it that I thought was funny. Like, oh, here's another woman that's been held back. She literally says it in the trailer. I've been held back my whole life. It's like, oh, they're going there again. Kind of seems like, because uh, this takes place during... I think the spot between Empire and Jedi. So it's just trying to do what shadows of the empire again. So I just, I don't think I care and I probably won't play this game. If that's the route they're going, got another cute little toy selling sidekick. It just looks like more of the same to me. But one thing I've noticed, I don't see a lot of people talking about it. There's no real videos that have been made about it. The internet really didn't talk about it because usually when you drop a trailer like this, and this is from one day ago, people will talk about it and go insane. And, oh, my God, it's got this and that, and look at these environments, and she can ride a motorcycle, and nobody's saying anything except Kotaku, <laughs> who says there's Star Wars Outlaws Backlash. And then it proves we need more women protagonists. A woman of color is in lead in Ubisoft's upcoming open world Star Wars game. I didn't even know she was. I thought she was white, to be honest. <laughs> I guess I guess she's uh, POC. I don't know. Who cares, to be honest? Uh, but they are claiming that there's tons of outrage over this game. I haven't seen any. I made like one joke tweet about this because I want to see if I could rile anybody up because a lot of these stands on Twitter are, are really predictable and, and easy. So I made one post after watching the trailer and I said, oh, look, I can tell she shoots first. And that's exactly what we needed. Another strong, independent woman an independent woman to come in and take over the thing. Love the Star Wars Outlaws trailer. Can tell she shoots first. Love the idea they made her a female Han Solo ripoff. And love that they let us know right away that she's been held back her entire life looking forward to playing this game. And it got some traction. 1,600 likes. But uh, that's it. I didn't make any videos on it. I haven't seen anybody else make any videos on it, to be honest. I Maybe they have or haven't. Uh, no one's talking about it. So here is a quick YouTube search. And Star Wars Theory talked about it. Here's the actual Star Wars channel, Digital Foundry, Ubisoft, Star Wars Comics, IGN, Star Wars Explained, Bombastic. Uh, I haven't seen anything. Here's Echo Base Network, Star Wars Outlaws and Lucasfilm Games, The Toxicity and Lies of a Corporation. Doesn't sound like outrage. I don't see any outrage. I don't see anybody complaining. I don't think anybody cares. But, of course, Kotaku comes in and says there's outrage. And you know what? They cite none of it. They cite none of it. There's no cited outrage. Not a link, not a post. They didn't even post my tweet. And that tweet had a, a, amount, a little amount of traction. They didn't post anything. Nothing. 
Isn't that interesting? I wonder why they've been blacklisted by every outlet. Probably because they make up lies. This is a desperate attempt for attention. And I'm giving them a little bit. I'm giving them a little bit. But this is them trying. You know what this really is? Please give us access to the game early when it comes out so we can give it a 9 out of 9 or 9 out of 10. They want attention. That's all they want so that they can get early access. We're sticking up for you. Well, it didn't work out for them. Once again, they're the butt of the joke. Everybody is roasting them. Uh, the quote tweets alone by them are hilarious, but if you just go a little Kotaku search, uh, you see you see this. People pointing out that there's a bunch of female leads because that's what they're saying. There's no, there's no female protagonist. There's been female protagonists since gaming started. But they make up this fantasy lie that there is none so that they can run around and do this kind of shit. Like this from Tank Ferret. He says, nobody, because we're not saying anything about the game. Kotaku, game a gate. Here's Player Essence pointing out in a video. Top female leads, a bunch of them. Why is he doing this video? Because Kotaku's lying and saying that there isn't any. It's just funny. I love that people are calling them out on their bullshit. Love it. Everybody's making fun of them. And they deserve to be made fun of them. Here's one from Vera Dark. Look at this. Uh, we need more women protagonists. She drops receipts. Look at all these. <laughs> I've been held back my whole life. Yeah, the writer for the game. I could have made a video on this. The writer for the game who's blocked me and just about everybody else, by the way. Uh, if you search her and Trump, there's all kinds of TDS posts of her freaking out over Donald Trump and going insane about Republicans. Well, I don't know about Republicans. Well, she did say a couple things about Republicans, but she she said some things about Trump and stuff. It's like, well, typical. Do I have confidence in this game's writing? No. No. But are you shocked? If I had made that video, would you be shocked? To find out that she had TDS? No, you wouldn't have been. There's nothing new there to talk about. So, I just, when is when is this outlet going to go bankrupt? They get no early access. They had a guy that writes for him trying to say he wanted Nintendo employees to die because he didn't get a copy of Zelda. Like, these people are unhinged. They write articles about using butt plugs with Animal Crossing. I'm not kidding. There's an actual article that a Kotaku writer wrote about how to use butt plug vibrators with Animal Crossing. It's a joke website, but somehow has power and can somehow change around the industry and get people canceled. They had, they've done it before. Just so excited for them to go out of business. Garbage website. This is top tier. The gamers desperately, desperately trying to become the new Kotaku. They're they're well on their way. The gamer Kotaku and Polygon. Well, to be honest, Polygon's been kind of quiet lately. I'm not giving them a pass. I think they're just as shitty as the other ones. But Kotaku, they've really been pulling overdrive and overtime to try to bait people into bullshit. I'm not even going to read through this article. I just the purpose of this video is to make fun of it because everybody else is making fun of them. So I'm gonna I'm gonna monetize Kotaku a little bit too. But I just want to point out the funniest thing about this article is they cite backlash to this game and provide none. None. It's all about like how people talked about how uh, this chick from I forget the name of the game. I didn't even like it. Uh, Allie or Alloy or whatever her name is, uh, she got ugly in the sequel. That's true. She did. She did. Yeah, here it is. Horizon series. <laughs> it's because they gave her peach house. Why does it need? Why does, this is a game about people in the dino like in an, in the future with dinosaur robots? But let's make sure we get her peach fuzz right. I don't even know if that game sold bad. In the end, it didn't matter. People still bought it. But, yep, oh, they're all mad. Oh, Mary Sue allegations with Ray. Well, Ray is a Mary Sue. But there it is in this. It's just a big, bumbling, shitty article. 
complaining about people that make fun of the fact that a lot of women in video games are ugly now or that they're overpowered or they're Mary Sue's. It doesn't even have anything to do with outlaws, really, other than them saying there's backlash where there is none. No one's talking about it. Is that the problem? Did Ubisoft hit you up and say, yo, no one's mad about our game. Make an article. Why don't you get ready for the next article so, like, when the game comes out, like, you can... You can uh, talk about how you can get a mod to use a vibrating butt plug with the game when she shoots her blaster or something. Shitty website. Can't wait for you to go out of business. It's the stupidest website on the internet. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. Check out my Rumble and Locals, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free. But if you are a supporter over here, I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me. Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. You don't have to worry about notifications like YouTube. They'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals.